Hey guys, Vinayak Ringan here. Today I'm going to be talking about something very important. How to structure your preparation, how to study in the last moment. You got 45 days. Need SS dates have been announced September 1st and 2nd. How to go about it. So I'm not going to be wasting too much time on introductions. Let's get into the topic per se. So what books to read? I think all of you guys have a thorough idea. So more detail, you can you know check out my video where I talk about the books to read. But right now, let's kind of get into how to you know uh, revise using these books. So as I've already told you before, the most important books are Bailey, Saviston, and Schwartz. From Bailey, you have to read every single chapter, every chapter, including major parts of orthopedics as well as gynecology. How to read up this? If you don't have time, if you've never read gynecology or orthopedics before, how to go about this? We'll talk about it in the video. Sabiston, as I've told before, GI surgery is the most important part. Then a few new chapters such as transplant, fetal surgery. These are the topics to read in Sabiston. And how to go about reading these? Again, we'll talk. Schwartz, as all of you guys know, endocrine surgery is the most important topic from Schwartz. So these three books form the basis of your preparation. Bailey in full, selected topics from Sabiston and Schwartz. So you got 45 days. So what should be your approach and what should be the plan? So the plan I would, you know, say, you know, there is no fixed plan for anyone. So the first step you will have to do is assessment. You know, then you will have to plan uh, about how to go about your preparation. And I'm going to talk about how to study, how to maximize the utilization of your resources and how to maximize your time during this period. So now we're going to be talking about assessment. Assessment is trying to find out where you stand amongst your peers. For this, the most important knowledge is not to know about like, no, uh, you should really have an assessment about how much you know about a particular topic. For this, I would start with using the search test question bank. So go to the search test question bank, click any mode, practice mode or uh, uh, test mode and select one topic, select one broad topic, say trauma surgery or uh, say select GI surgery or say if you want to you know, substitute it for the HPV surgery. But don't go into very something very specific such as say parathyroid or adrenal, select endocrine surgery in full or uh, you know that's how you should kind of go about. Try to do all the, try to select all the topics and out of that, say for example, you're choosing trauma surgery and it shows total questions is 145. You've selected all the subtopics and you've selected all questions. Select 20 questions. So these questions are generated in random and this will give you an idea about which topic you are strong and which topic you are weak. So make a list. So strong topics, intermediate and weak. So you can say strong GI Euro. Weak C, intermediate CTVS, weak trauma perioperative care. For most of us, all topics universally, the weak topics are going to be universally, I'm saying gynec, ortho, and ENT from Bailey. So, the last minute, would you recommend? that you study these topics. I would say don't study these topics. It is going to be a waste of time. The best way to overcome this particular weakness is to use videos. So on the search list app, general surgery video lectures, which are available at a very affordable cost and you know, you have a three month subscription as well. What you can kind of do is you can see the gynecology video. The entire gynecology video is say less than one and a half, two hours. Orthopedics is again, two to three hours. Same with ENT. So when you finish Seeing the videos of these topics, it means that you effectively save at least four to five days of preparation. It is not that these topics are new, difficult or anything. It is just that most of us have never read these topics once in our life. So after you make <coughs> this plan strong, intermediate and weak, that is when you should start getting into your preparation. So as I told, making a plan is very different from individual to individual. The first thing is whether you are a full time or a part-time. So if you're full-time into your preparation, preparation is definitely going to be easier. But we have kind of found in our experience that even people who prepare full-time cannot, you know, focus about 10 to 12 hours a day. If you're working part-time, what is the number of hours per day? Say, is it four hours, 
six hours sort of thing the most important thing even when you have 45 days of preparation left is not to rush into it with you know full custom you have to understand that 45 days up it might appear to be small but it still is a good enough time so what you need to do is you should start preparing in increments take every day one day at a time and you know set realistic targets see you have had a very busy day say you're working as an sr in a government medical college you come back home at 8 pm if you say i come back home at 8 pm i'm going to get ready i'm going to start by 9 pm and i'm going to read till 1 am or 2 am every day what are you not taking into consideration you're not taking into consideration the fatigue you're going to feel you're not taking into consideration social uh, uh, necessities which might come into play like your child might fall sick or your mother might you know need uh, uh, some help and these are all realistic situations which can kind of occur so start making realistic targets so if you come home and say i'm going to read for say 4 5 hours a day nobody is going to take you seriously because you're not read for any uh, like hardly half an hour a day even before so when i say realistic targets make incremental targets start with one hour a day even one hour a day start with just doing mcqs by one week you should hit your peak by one week you should hit your peak and you should try to make sure that in your free time even if you are not able to study full time you should be able to put in 80% of your time for surgery preparation very important this 80% will make sure that you are able to maximize the use of your time if you are studying full time make sure that you take enough breaks during your preparation to 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 uh, uh to retain the gusto to retain that enthusiasm so while making a plan as i have already told before you will have to you know divide them into strong intermediate and weak so even before you start the preparation you kind of have to realize that what is the the time a topic is going to take for you say for example you will know how much time you need to study gi surgery from semester say you put 5 days which is a very reasonable time to read gi surgery which is a very important topic from semester if you feel that gi surgery is a weak topic for you you are not able to solve questions that means that you will have to supplement your knowledge by seeing videos by solving more mcqs by repeating the same mcqs or you know going back to the topic or you let us spend more time so make sure that you add two days and say if you are strong in some topic say you are taking plastic surgery and you put two days make sure you minus half a day because you are already strong in a topic the time taken for you to absorb these concepts is going to be lesser so you, what you should do is you should compensate over here you should make sure that you add some days for your weak topics and decrease some tire days for your <clears throat> strong topics so when should you have completed one full round during these 45 days during these 45 days you should have completely read bailey and now ideally within 25 days so 25 days round one so let's split this into rounds so round 1 2 and 3 is what i would advise if you are preparing for your neat assess so round 1 should take 25 days round 2 should take 10 days in these 10 days you should try to revise as much as possible what you have done in these 25 days when you are studying when you are solving mcqs you would have made a note you would have bookmarked the mcqs which you have marked wrong so go back to these mcqs and make sure that you do these mcqs in these 10 days in these 10 days again make a note of topics you are weak at again you will have to solve the entire search this question back in these 10 days in a rapid fashion you don't need to go through answer by answer if you know the topic skip the explanation but keep solving the questions in test mode or practice mode which are more you're comfortable with the next last 5 days of your preparation what you should kind of do is make a note you have already made a note of the topics you are really bad at solve only those mcqs read only those topics don't go back to reading the entire thing don't go back to reading what you are already strong at don't go back to read something because you just feel it's important but you might be very strong in that that is why the most important part of your entire 45 days preparation is to prepare this list 
strong, intermediate and weak. This weak or strong, this list you should revise after every round. So what is a weak topic after round one may not be a weak topic after round two. So in round three, you should read only the topics you feel are you are weak at at round three. Other than that, certain boring topics or certain topics which are very difficult to understand, such as you know stem cells or tissue regeneration, there are hard facts in this or statistics for that matter. These topics you make sure that you read in the last day of your preparation. For statistics, we have made a very uh, useful video on our search test app. It is likely to be published within the next one or two days. So uh, if you feel that statistics is a difficult topic for you, one or two questions are definitely possible. See that video to clear your concepts. So how do you study? So who are we? We are the Instagram generation. We are the generation of Reels and Facebook Shorts. We cannot concentrate on a single topic or a single uh, uh, subject or a single page for more than five to 10 minutes at a time. So one of the major challenges we have is our attention deficit. So my strategy to avoid attention deficit is to make sure that you keep all your social media devices away for at least these 45 days. Try not to look at social media groups, Facebook groups, WhatsApp groups as much as possible. I'm agree it's going to be impossible. One of the ways, one of the reasons why we go into Facebook or WhatsApp is that we are instantly bored of whatever we are doing. So I have a strategy which I call as practice boredom. This is an article in New York Times which I read about uh, one or two years ago. We want micro stimulations by scrolling through reels. That is why our attention spans have decreased. And that is because we are bored easily. So practice boredom. Sit in a place, sit in a room, sit on your terrace, do absolutely nothing. Don't use your phone, don't do anything. Just stare at the sky, don't think about anything. If you learn to practice boredom, that means your focus infinitely increases. This is a tested and tried technique practiced by a lot of people. And I personally find that it is useful in improving my productivity. If I want to make videos on search tests, if I'm taking recording a class and I'm unable to prepare for one or two days before I start preparing for the class, I intentionally practice boredom. And that's the strategy which has worked for me. One technique which you can use is the Pomodoro technique. Set a timer for 25 minutes, choose a task. Don't do anything. Do complete focus till the timer goes off. Then take a short break for three to five minutes. Repeat the cycle four to five times and take a longer break after four sessions. Time tested technique. There are a lot of videos on YouTube, a lot of articles on the Pomodoro technique. I personally find that it is very useful for any sort of preparation. 45 days, your time is extremely valuable. Make sure that you use your time wisely. I have this concept of minimum and CQ per day. Make a chart in your room. Say it's uh, July 16, 17, 18, 19 MCQ per day. Okay, so just start. Today I have done 30 MCQs in total. Today I did only 25. Today I did 40. So make sure that in, on average you try to hit 50 MCQs per day. Now, how do you do MCQs when you're reading in full or your concepts are not clear? If you have the habit of using your phone in your loop, take your phone to the loop, solve five questions. If you have about five minutes free time in your OT between cases, solve five questions during the time. During the time a junior is shifting the cases between OTs, solve five to 10 MCQs. On the way back home, try to use public transport, solve 30 to 40 MCQs, on the bus or the train. So these are all strategies which I personally use when I was preparing for my NEET when I was preparing for my MRCS. And I find that these strategies are extremely useful. I mean, I was preparing for my MRCS exams. I was a resident. And this was the only way I could kind of prepare. I had to squeeze in time. And that is a strategy which really works. So covering unknown topics. There are a lot of topics you might not have read before. Fetal surgery is one. Concepts of transplant from Sabistin is one. A lot of people are not very clear. Certain people, CTVS is a weak area. Gynec, auto. The only way to do this in your last minute is through videos. Do not waste time reading or absorbing concepts from your textbook. You will not have the time. You will end up wasting a lot of time. 
put the search this video in a 2x speed or a 1.75x speed. I can assure you, you have already read these topics, understood these topics when you are doing your MBBS, when you are preparing for your PG. So you are not going to waste too much time. Unfortunately, the real differentiation lies in these topics. Because when these topics come, the toppers are going to score the extra marks. And for that, you will need the video advantage. You will have to go through videos or whatever app you're using. In the search test app, I have made sure that topics from Sabiston, which have not been, you know, covered anywhere else, have been highlighted prominently on the search test app. So I would request you to, you know, use these resources. So thank you so much, guys, uh, for, uh, you know, listening to me. So uh, re-emphasizing, make a plan. Before making a plan, assess yourself. Follow a time-tested schedule. Work with incremental targets. Start small, make it big. Start peaking within one week of your preparation. And I think you will have an excellent need as a result. Wishing you all the best from the entire search team. Thank you so much, guys.